What's going on, Fours of Faithfuls? It's your boy, Aaron, a.k.a. T. Vinyasha. Finally, I've come out with the first episode of my newest show. Now, you've already seen Gaming Discussions, episode one and two. Now, I'm bringing you Inyasha's Garage. So, in this garage, I'm going to show you how to tune for racing, tune for drifting, but not drift points. The entire drift point thing does not flow or set well with me. I've been playing the game since Forza 1, and ever since this entire drift points have been introduced, it's not something that I really enjoy or like it a lot. I just find it pretty much, to be honest, childish. So, on the first episode here, and let me tell you all in advance, if you leave a comment, I will tune any and every car. You want a front wheel drive, drift, or rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, just, you know, let me know. So, today's episode, I'm just looking through the car list here. Also, none of this is scripted. This is all just, you know, hopping straight into a vehicle and tuning it right on up and getting sideways. So, let's see here. I'm going to go with a Jag. Go with a classic Jag here. Um, Four door or two door. What do I want? You know, let's get the XKR sideways. The 09. Why not? I got nothing else to lose. <laughs> Alright. So, the first thing, you know. It's a hundred thousand dollar car. <laughs> um, waiting for Forza to load here. Saving content. That's cool. So first thing I realize is that uh, this car has four hundred horsepower, thirty eight hundred um pounds. Has a pretty decent amount of power. So, being I love the sound of a blow off valve and you know the whole turbo spooling, we're going boosted. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to do is add all the handling parts here. Um, definitely going to lose some weight in this vehicle. That really helps out the entire term of wanting to get it sideways. So it's 3,100 pounds now. That's really nice. Race transmission. <sighs> Boy. <laughs> Tires. I run street. Uh, widen them out. This is why this thing goes. Well, it is a luxury car. Why not? I'm going to roll with some Advans. Kind of like Advans a lot. Um, I plan on adding a lot more detail into these in commentary videos with my garage. This is just going to be a quick rush one. Um, generally, with my tunes, um, since I'm already you know really associated with the game and I know pretty much the majority of the stuff, I just can rush through, do a basic little tuning package, and not really have to worry about doing too much to the vehicle. I'm going to keep this car in S class, of course. Um, but I can just slap a real quick tune, take a guess at what it's going to do specifically, and get things done. So, 695 horsepower. Let's go ahead and take it to the track and stop wasting time. Now, I am playing on a controller. So, for those of you who are using a wheel, I'm not sure how much this setup is going to work for you. Um, if it does, well, kudos to you. I'm proud of you. If it doesn't, well, kudos for you. At least you tried. Um, for those of you on the controller, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Um... I'm going to make this one of my general 360 setups, give a shit ton of angle, and um, look really nice while I'm doing it. So, let's go ahead and get to it. Whew. Glad this game doesn't have long loads like some games. Alright. So, I'm going to take this to... Let's see here. Well, we'll go here. Catalonia. I'm going to go to school. Assist. Um... I'm just going to do regular manual. Generally, for racing setups, I like to run manual of clutch because when you're racing, well, clutch on four is a, there's a huge gap. I'll show that in another video, though. Like, I'm actually going to have a test subject, and we'll just do some back to back drag races with the advantages and disadvantages. Well, actually, there are no disadvantages with having clutch. So, first thing is um, here's a Jag, white, black rims. Looks nice, right? Turbo sounds really nice. Well, wow. Sweet, cool. Um, let's see here. So I'm gonna hop right into it. First thing I'm gonna do is lower the file drive here in the gearing. Slap up that negative camber. 2.8 for now. Uh, we're gonna higher up the front caster. But da -da, just you know, I should do this a little bit slower. Some of you might want to copy this setup when I'm done with it. Yeah, it might be working just off the of dang on top. But sometimes I'm just random with these setups. I like to stare at the vehicle get a good assumption. This car I didn't stare so much at, but if some of y'all stare closely in some of my tunes for the uh, future videos, you'll see a lot of my things are 
kind of similar. So here's stage one tune already done. Like I said, I tune stuff really quick. I'm just gonna drive it around a little bit, and try to get a feel for how it feels before I take it off. Full throttle here. Feels pretty good, and we're off. feels pretty nice doesn't quite feel like a speed drift setup necessarily but it does feel like it'll put in a lot of work so there's a 360 right there as you can see did it real easily no problem at all wasn't even thinking about it as it occurred there are a few things I want to adjust already off the back but for just a first quick fast tune, I'm getting a good idea of what I want to do here. I can already tell just how much I want to change this vehicle. Now, I believe I'm running with street tires and they're completely wide. Well, hmm, it doesn't go or flow as quickly through these corners as I'm wishing it would, but eh, it's good for a starter. Can't complain there. So I'll go for another 360 here. There's some grass there. Out of the grass, there we go. Real nice, still feels kind of slow in my opinion. So I'm gonna go for another quick tune. Um, let's see, change the PSI, let's see, the dirt here, try to get to loose, short dirt just a little bit. Um, let me make that up some, that one stays the same. Yeah, up this, up that. Try this one more time here. Oh no, wait, one more thing. I change one more element. Different means everything. Just saying. <clears throat> Alright. Feels a lot more loose now. Oh yeah. yeah I'm definitely liking this a lot more a lot more free from just those small little tweaks I did. It's already responding just the way I like it. Real simple, no issues. Transition fairly well. Oh look, quick Corolla just signed online. Hmm. Also, for those of you who are watching this video, and if you like it, um, I have a live stream on uh, Twitch.tv. So basically, you can just follow me on Twitch. That's going to be posted at the end of this video, and you'll be able to watch whenever I live stream. Whenever I stream for Forza specifically, my rooms I always had them under Custom or Circuit, and it'll be called Live Stream Drifting or Live Stream Racing. Unless I think of different room titles, I don't really see a purpose as of yet. Unless we play some Top Gear Soccer, nothing wrong with that, right? But yeah, this Jag, she's ready. It was really good. I think I'm going to take this room to some uh, public live stream drifting, actually. But, that's it for now. First tune here, nice Jaguar XKRS. Um, for those of you who like this tune, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to scroll through these settings really slowly. So you can just copy down the settings. And go ahead and give it a try for yourself. Free tune. Enjoy. And I will be making more Forza tune videos. And I'll also be doing tutorials on how to drift certain ways. Um, I'm not going to be giving out tutorials on how to do the whole drift point thing. To be honest, that's, again, like I said from the get go, not my cup of tea. I just like, you know, building cars for drift battling and building cars just for the sheer fun of it. And that's pretty much how I personally feel on it. So, with that being said, thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe. I will be dropping more videos, race tunes, drift tunes, you know, anything really. Again, make requests. And stay tuned.